Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I will be talking about my favourite movies and seasons on Netflix. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did then hit that like button down below. First one is Lucifer. Now I've seen this just this week and I'm now on season three, which is kinda of cool to be honest. Uh, it's kind of gross and it's kinda of disturbing and it's kind of violent and sweary, but it's really good. Um second one is Stranger Things. I've seen one to but there is a two year wait for season five and there are some rumours about Eddie coming back or some theories about Eddie coming back. Um and I'm not gonna say any spoilers for it because the only rumours and the only theories but I think I know the truth about Eddie. But I'm not gonna say any more about the spoilers because I don't wanna give you any spoilers because that's really selfish of me. I don't wanna do that to you sort of things fans out there. The third one is a series of unfortunate events with Neil Patrick Harris. Now this actor is much better than Jim Carrey. Sorry, Jim Carrey. Um Jim Carrey is a very good actor, like in Liar Liar, Bruce Almighty, Mask. I've never seen Mask, but um but yeah, I prefer Neil Patrick Harris in this one. It's more like a series than a movie, the is kind of cool. Um, number four is Rescued by Ruby. Now, Ruby is a shelter dog who got rescued by this guy who is autistic. And he rescued Ruby as well. Um, but she is now, she is, she now is a canine unit dog um, for the police. But yeah, it's a really good movie, and I think you should, guys should watch it. It does have a little bit of it does have a, a bit of gruesome in it, but I think it's a very good recommendation for if anyone wants to see it. If if anyone wants to watch it, then you can. I definitely recommend some of my friends at Little Grove to watch it. I think some of my friends have watched it from Little Grove. Number five is Paul. Um, Paul is a sci-fi action movie with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost from Doctor Who, which is kind of cool. Um, but uh, Paul is an alien who got stuck with the name Paul from Crash Landing on a Dog. Sorry if that was a spoiler. Um, but yeah, I've seen it plenty of times. Is to show it just this too. I've got a lot of knowledge from that. It, from that movie is kind of cool because I, I love aliens and I love UFOs and stuff it's kind of my thing number six is Bigfoot Family that's fairly that's fa actually fr kind of family fr friendly movie um, anyone can watch it of any age especially people who are, who are over 20 number seven a Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. Now, this is a very good movie um, to watch on Netflix. Um, it can be a bit um, violent at points of time in the movie, but it's really good to watch. Um, there are boogeymans, there are picky womans, um, so yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of bad guys out there in this movie, but it's a really good movie to watch. I'd recommend watching it for some people at Little Growth. I'm not saying any names, but I'm, I know they're watching this because some of them are actually um, subscribed to my channel. I'm not going to say any names, but I would recommend my friend or friends who are subscribed to the channel from Little, from Little Growth, I'd recommend watching it. Um, number eight is Wish Dragon. Um, Wish Dragon is a, another family friendly film. Um, there are some violence and a bit of swearing, but it's okay. Uh, it's not too much swearing and it's not too much violence either. So, any kid of any age can watch it if they want to. It's totally up to them. Number nine is Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. Now, Madagascar is like a zoo kind of a zoo animal kind of movie and this one is my go-to favourite because it's really funny it's really 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 funny um, but yeah it's, it's really funny 
um, number 10 is Surf's Up 2 with Menia. Now, um, as you heard of Surf's Up, the first one, um, this is the second one that just came out a few months ago, I presume. It's really good. Um, there's a bit of death included, but it's not that bad. Um, number eleven is Jurassic World: Cretaceous. A very good, a very good season at that. Um, season five is coming out tomorrow. This is kind of cool to be honest because I am really, really excited to watch it. Um, I recommend watching this one, um, especially some people out there and look at Little Growth, like. I don't want to say their name. Um, I know they're watching this, or by the time this is out, they'll be watching this. I'm not going to say any names, but um, I think you guys should watch it. It's really, it's really good. Um, and number twelve, the last one, is Enola Holmes. Um, Enola Holmes is a movie which is a kind of a cool actiony movie. Um, it's got a lot of actors and actresses that are in it, like Millie Bobby Brown, Henry Cavill, uh, Helena Bone Cutter, and yeah, it's, it's just amazing to be honest. And um, I, just love it. I have seen it at least 25 times, I presume? 25 to 40 times. Uh, but it's really good. I love Henry Cavill, I love Millie Bobby Brown. I love Helena Button Carter. It's because she's in Harry Potter and in Doctor Who, I presume. I don't know, um, but yeah, it's really good. And Helena Button Carter actually has a new movie out or series, whatever, on Netflix. It's called Wild Babies. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm planning to. That'll be on my list um, on here if I watch it. It depends if I do or not, but yeah. If you do like this video, then please hit that like button down below. Click that notification bell so you never miss a video. Please comment down of what you guys want me to do next. And please, please, please remember to subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot of you there. Bye for now, peeps. See you soon.